Hi everyone! Today we're gonna continue our Gardenscapes game and we're gonna make the fourth level. In this level, as you can see, we gotta control Avery using the mouse. Actually, we can only control Avery in the vertical axis and there are some balls coming from the sides that we have to dodge so that Avery can reach the right side of the screen and we can go to the final level, which is gonna be level five. So if you're ready, let's get started. Alright, first of all I'm gonna go to backdrops. Here in backdrops you see that the last backdrop we uploaded was this one, backdrop 4. But I'm gonna call this backdrop 5 because I'm going to upload a new one that I have downloaded from Pixabay, as I usually do, which is a meadow. Because here I only want to see grass because Avery is gonna be moving uh, on the vertical axis from the bottom to the top. So, let's resize it. And now we're gonna call this backdrop four. I'm gonna put it before backdrop five, but there is a problem. Uh, if you remember in the last video, all these elements that belong to backdrop three had a program saying when backdrop switches to backdrop four, hide. Now it says backdrop five because we have changed the name of back backdrop four to backdrop five, and we have uploaded a new backdrop four, but they still remember uh, the real backdrop uh, this was referring to, so we have to change it, okay? Here, 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 also in the dinosaur, and also in, well, n maybe not in Avery, let's see if we put next backdrop or switch, no, we put next backdrop, so there's nothing to change here. So, uh, now we're ready to begin, we're gonna create a new sprite, and this is gonna be a red ball, well, not necessarily a uh, solid red, it can have two colors. Let's center it. Let's name it. It's gonna be ball 4, 4 because it belongs to level 4. And now let's code it. Obviously when green flag clicked, as we usually do, hide. And we're gonna be creating clones of itself until we switch to backdrop 5. So. Uh, we're going to repeat create clone of myself until backdrop equals uh, number five. So until backdrop number equals five. In order not to create too many clones, we're gonna add a small delay here of half a second. And in order so that it doesn't begin creating clones of itself at the very beginning, so that the player has some time to, to see the screen at least, we're going to add like a two second delay here before it actually starts creating the clones. So, um, when I start as a clone, and now we have to keep one thing in mind. Whenever it's on the left side on the screen of the screen, around this area, we want the balls to come from the right so that the player has enough time to see the balls coming and dodge them. But when Avery is on this side, if the balls are, are coming from the right, it's gonna be impossible to dodge them. So in that case, we want the balls uh, to be coming from the left side. So depending on Avery's position, the balls have to start on the right or on the left. So uh, we're gonna use conditions for that. And the condition is gonna be this. If, let's see, this is the, the important block that we're gonna use. Choose Avery walking here, and in if X position of Avery walking is lower than, and let's put 0 0.5. I'm not, I'm not gonna put zero because if the position is zero, uh, the program is not gonna work. So 0 0.5 because the position is never gonna be 0 0.5 because we're not using decimal numbers in the position. So if the X position of Avery, so the horizontal position is lower than 0 0.5, if Avery is on this area, these balls are going to go to the right side. So X 240 and Y y is gonna be a random number from 
negative 180 to 180. So that some balls appear here, others here, others here. That's the idea. So I'm gonna pick random from negative 180 to 180. Oops, this has to be here. All right. And after that, we're going to point the ball to the left. So a uh, point in direction negative 90 and then we're gonna show it and this is very important that we show the ball because at the beginning we've hidden the original one so after this we're gonna make the ball move so we're gonna repeat the movement of the ball which is gonna be move 10 steps until the ball is touching every or the ball is more or less in this position so let's use a uh, an or until touching every or until the x position of the ball is lower than negative 238 for example so until the x position of the ball is lower than negative 238 and after that we're going to add like a vanishing effect but very fast so it's gonna be like repeat 10 times or maybe five times change ghost effect by 20 and then delete this clone but before doing that we're going to configure we're going to code the other possibility and then we put this here what is the other possibility if x position of fabric is greater than 0 0.5 so to do it fast we can pass this here and here we'll write the 0 0.5 the ball is gonna go to the other side. So if Avery is on these positions, on this position, the ball is going to come out from the left. So we put negative uh, 240, point in the opposite direction, so that way, and we're going to repeat this until touching Avery walking or X position is greater than 238. So the ball is gonna be moving until it reaches more or less this position and after that what we said let's try oh as you see I've made a mistake here obviously um, this doesn't have to happen when green flag clicked but when backdrop switches to backdrop 4 okay so let's try two second delay and now the balls start coming out if they touch me they disappear, if not, they disappear when touching more or less the edge. And let's see what happens if Fabric is here. Okay, that's perfect. So now, well, let's save now. And now we have to code Avery. So let's go there. I think I'm gonna be able to more or less reuse this code. So I'm gonna move it here when backdrop switches to backdrop 4 Avery is gonna go to this position more or less which is negative 208 and y5 Avery is gonna be moving until touching not dinosaur 3 in this case it's ball 4 or the edge but in this case the edge is not valid because as we're gonna be moving Avery uh, in the vertical axis it's also going to touch the top edge and the bottom edge so we cannot use this anymore now we need when average x position is greater than like 238 for example so that has to be the condition it's gonna be moving not 10 steps maybe four steps so that uh, this takes uh, a longer time obviously we're not gonna use it and it's gonna be moving next costume and wait if touching it next backdrop not touching it if X position is greater than 238 next backdrop and if touching ball for that effect that vanishing effect that we created in the in the past videos so let's see if that works okay so uh, apart from that, we need to control Avery in the vertical position by moving our mouse. That's something super easy. 
we're gonna use when backdrop switches to backdrop four as well. So this program is gonna be working simultane simultaneously. I'm gonna duplicate this because we can reuse it, but let's get rid of it. Because we're gonna repeat this until touching ball four and Avray dies or uh, exposition is greater than this because we've, we've finished the level. So basically we're going to set uh, Avri's Y position, so the vertical position of Avri all the time, to the mouse Y position. So that's the idea. Okay? And last but not least, I'm gonna go to this ball and I'm gonna put that when backdrop switches to backdrop 5 we delete the clone basically because if not if when we switch backdrop to backdrop 5 there's still a ball that is moving it's gonna continue and we don't want that so it's a good idea to use this so well let's see if it works Oh, there's a kind of bug in this dinosaur. Let's see where the problem is. I think that has happened because it is too big. Let's make it smaller. Well, not that small, maybe 60. Let's see now. Okay, let's restart. Okay, in this first try I'm gonna touch a, a red ball, but not, not now. I'm gonna touch it, this one for example. Okay, that's what we expected, that's great. And now let's finish the game. Alright, that's great. As you see, it works very well. This is the fourth level. I'm gonna make one more video on Gardenscapes, then we will change to something different. So I hope you liked this video, you enjoyed it, try to read at home, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye!